Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we will be looking at the Lothric Knight Long Spear. So as you can see, it's unupgraded. I only have the base strength and dexterity needed to use this thing effectively. So there is no scaling on it, and its base damage hasn't been improved. It is uninfused. So the damage you see it doing is its base damage. What you will be doing as soon as you have the stats to use this thing effectively. So this weapon can actually be very powerful. You, it, you're not going to know how to use it the very first time. Like I've been using it for a couple days. So I still don't have it mastered after a few days. But... Once you master this thing, it can be an insanely powerful weapon. We will be using the Lothric Knight as an example of this thing's power when it comes back. So, this weapon is just, it is, according to the community, so I don't know 100% that I can trust this information, but supposedly, this is the longest spear in the game. Now, before anyone goes off on me about calling this thing a spear when its actual weapon type is a pike, deal with it, okay? I consider pikes and spears the same thing because the differences are pikes have a little more hyper armor, spears have a little more speed. God, this is just ridiculous. Yeah, I have to apologize, everyone. Uh... Dark Souls has just been a bit of a dick today. I'm not even kidding, like... Earlier I was using my strength build. It actually hit me when I was using an Ultra Great Sword. And just r wanting it to crap, so... Yeah, it actually killed me with all that going on, so yeah... Dark Souls has been a bit of a dick today, and they do apologize for that. Yeah, but see, that was the damage from a rolling attack. This thing does quite a bit of damage. This is the R1. As you can see, it's got some pretty good damage for an unupgraded, uninfused, unscaled weapon. You can get this as early as High Wall of Lothric, so before you even kill Vort, you can get this weapon. That's honestly amazing. But um, a new player is not going to be able to get this weapon. The Spear and Great Shield wielding Lothric Knights can be a nightmare for beginners. I remember just getting shield bashed to death when I first tried. Holy crap, those guys gave me a lot of trouble. But yeah, this, um, this is very possibly my favorite spear. I do... I don't like the weapon art, though. Charge. So, I with spears, I prefer the weapon art shield splitter. I know most people prefer charge, and I just don't understand it. So charge is an easy to dodge weapon art that, now this does not apply to champion's charge. That, uh, that I can't speak for because it's an exclusive thing to champion Gunder's Halberd, and I have never gotten to... I've never gotten far enough in the game to use that weapon, so I can't really speak for that char for champion's charge. But I can't speak for normal charge, and I gotta say, that move is really overrated. So it's easy to dodge. I'm pretty sure it can be parried. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's basically the possible unparryable. And then a bunch of weaknesses. You won't really ever use that move. That's charge. 
So as you can see, it would be very easy to see coming. It's really not a good move. And to show you, I don't just hate on the move, and it actually does do pathetic damage. Watch it not kill this thing, or even come close. See? Also, you can't cancel charge once you start it. That's the thing. So, it's like, if charge puts you in a dead spot, like you're gonna die kind of thing. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, yeah, then you're screwed. Uh, because you can't cancel a weapon art. There's no way to cancel it. So yeah, other than the weapon art though, this weapon's super, super nice. Um, that's really my only problem with it. I mean, it is a pike, so it has less, um, speed, finished spear, but it's the longest pike or spear in the game, supposedly. It's, um, and I gotta say I don't exactly disagree with that information. It's got very reliable damage. Its moveset is just a bunch of thrusting like most speed here's and pikes, but the thing is, each of its thrusts have different timing. And that's why it's not an easy weapon to master, okay? You have to get all the timings down and know exactly when to use what stab. It's not an easy weapon to master. So yeah, um... And on top of that, it's not easy to get. Because the enemy you farm it off of is an absolute nightmare for beginners. I still remember getting shield bashed to death by those guys, like, three times in a row. When I first started. They will wreck you, pull you back up from the grave, and wreck you again. I'm not even kidding on that one. For beginners, shield and... Great shield and spear... Lothric Knights are an absolute nightmare. And they will make you salty at first. Unless you're one of those people that just does not get salty. So, yeah, that's what I think of the Lothric Knight Lone Spear. Very versatile weapon. Oh, I almost forgot about its special ability. The long, long spear wielded by the proud Lothric Knights, designed for long-range thrusting. Lothric Spear Knights are known for their steadfastness, and this spear boosts the poise of its wielder. Okay, so people running tank builds, even if you use it offhand, get this spear. It will boost your poise. It's really good for a tank build. I'm not even joking. So... Yeah, that's what I have to say about the Lothric Knight Long Spear. Super nice weapon. Looks really cool. In my experience, and according to the community, the longest spear or pike in the game. It's no slower than any other pike. Does reliable damage. Has a piece of crap weapon art, but that one con as opposed to like 50 million pros. It's, it's truly an amazing weapon. 
And if you can master this thing, well, you're basically set.